triceps are important for a raw bench press. Now this isn't some tinfoil hat wearing conspiracy that pecs don't matter on a raw press because they absolutely do, but most raw lifters are not training their triceps hard enough and just half-assing a couple sets of pushdowns isn't going to do it for you. So we're going to go through my top three tricep builders for bench press. Now these might not be the best exercises if we're looking for pure tricep hypertrophy because they are going to be multi-joint, they are going to be compound to some extent, but they're going to make your triceps very strong specific to what we need during bench press. So let's get into it. Number one is the rolling dumbbell extension because if we think about it, the biggest, most important thing that we need during bench press is to have our elbows strong enough so that we can actually handle training bench hard. So many lifters have jacked up elbows and then they can't train their bench and they can't handle bench volume, they can't handle bench intensity. And if their elbows were just up to snuff, they'd be able to train bench harder and they'd be able to have more productive bench training. And where the rolling dumbbell extension comes in is it's gonna allow us to get a lot of deep elbow flexion with a good chunk of weight. And by accessing this deep flexion with a good chunk of weight, we're gonna build up a shit ton of elbow tolerance. Now, if your elbows are not very strong right now, if they can't handle a ton of these, start light enough that you can do them without pain, run high enough reps that it gets kind of hard, and then work to progress up over time. The second benefit of a rolling dumbbell extension is because we have this rolling, because we have this flick up, that's gonna allow us to get the lats to work together with the triceps, which is exactly what we want to do when we're stacking top of the lats and flexing triceps out of the bottom of a bench press. So to do these, we're just gonna grab a relatively hefty pair of dumbbells. We're gonna kick them back, and I'm on the incline just so I can kind of sit up and talk to the camera. You can do this incline, you can do this flat, you can do this on the floor. We're gonna press them to the top. We're gonna roll the dumbbells back, contact in the shoulder, let them roll all the way back, and we're just gonna extend up to the top and bang out reps until it gets nice and hard. That's what she said. <laughs> tricep builder number two is a tape press because when we're thinking about what the triceps actual job is during a bench press, if we're holding onto the bar, the tricep is gonna be spreading the elbow, or spreading the arm against the bar and that's gonna shove the elbow through. When we're doing a tape press, that is a spread and a shove. So this is very specific to the triceps actual roll during the bench. And if we get really, really strong at these, we're gonna be able to punch through that bench super freaking hard. And to do a tape press, setting up on an incline again, just so I'm not back and I can talk to the camera, we're just gonna kick the dumbbells up. We're going to press them to the top. We're gonna have a slight elbow tuck. We're gonna let them, we're gonna lead by folding in with the wrists. Then we're just gonna let that fold in, come down to the chest. And then we're just gonna shove and spread up to the top. And we're gonna do these again until they get really friggin' hard. We can have a little bit of cheat here, that's okay. What we don't want is just to roll them out and then press. We wanna make it mostly tricep coming out of the bottom. And last, but certainly not least, is the JM Press, my all-time favorite tricep builder for bench press. And the reason I like these so much is that we can just load the shit out of them, put so much weight in the triceps, and contract the triceps so freaking hard to the top. And when I'm doing these, there are a lot of ways that people can do GMs. There's a lot of ways I see on the internet. This is the way that I like them, the way that I think I can load into the triceps the best. I definitely don't want to see like the shoulder roll, external rotation. I don't want to see it come down and roll back. I want to see it start kind of over the neck, finish over the neck and the bottom with a lot of elbow bend. So we're going to be gripping pretty darn narrow when we're setting up. I like to go with my ring finger just on the edge of the smooth. I'm going to internally rotate and roll in a bit and that's going to help me with getting that elbow angle. I'm going to just unrack kind of like I would a very close grip bench and then I'm going to let the elbows bend basically. All I'm doing is just trying to close the elbow to the bottom, open the elbow to the top. I'm kind of traveling outwards at about a 45 degree angle. I'm not trying to overly tuck, not trying to overly flare. I'm just trying to feel all of that weight going into the tricep as I lower. I'm trying to flex out as much with the tricep as I can on the way up. And these are just gonna blow your bench up if you take the time to get very, very strong at them. So guys, if you aren't taking your tricep training seriously, just start, do it. Push those triceps hard because your bench will get stronger. And if you're benching two days per week, a general recommendation would be to pick one of those movements and run it as an accessory on each of those bench days. One of those days, you're gonna push harder and heavier for lower reps. One of those days, you're gonna push lighter and higher reps for a little bit more of a pumpy intent. And if you guys' elbows aren't in shape, if your elbows hurt running these, remember, start light enough that it 
isn't painful, run high enough reps that it gets hard, and then build up over time, get those elbows in shape, and your bench press will get so much freaking better. And remember, make sure to check out the next upcoming lecture series on making conjugate work for raw powerlifting. We're gonna go over accessory selection, how to run accessories, how to decide what accessories to do, and how hard to push them depending on what you're trying to accomplish with them. Because hypertrophy isn't the only reason to run an exercise for powerlifting purposes. We might be trying to get stronger, we might be trying to gain flexibility, we might be trying to build tissue tolerance, and we can strategize accessory work based on whatever goal we are trying to achieve.